All right, Scorpio, here we go. My hot Scorpios, sun, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever. Uh, this is for soulmate energies for January 2023. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. I'm just going to tell you straight up. I didn't have a chance to tell Libra this because I was doing their reading just before yours. I hadn't done yours yet. So you might want to tell Libra. I'm going to tell you. Watch the Libra reading. Okay? And I'm going to show you why. You'll see why instantly in the Libra reading in the pre-shuffle why I said it. Because from a different deck, I've got the same fucking message for you. Here we go again. All right. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio, I asked. That's what I said. Mm. Uh, you'd think I said Libra by accident. Somebody here is really, really, feels really, really stupid. Really, really sad. Really, really devastated. That they didn't give to this. That they're, that they're not banging you. Okay? That they're not giving to this. That they're not with you. That they didn't tell you how they feel. Why? Because they put you on a pedestal. The Nine of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles. They, did, they put you on a fucking pedestal. That's why. We have a problem here with this kind of thing. You know, that all this love welled up in these runners. Right? All this love welled up. And they don't know how to deal with it. So you become some sort of god or goddess in their sort of heart energy, if you will. Okay? So somebody, this is your person, male or female, right? And uh, they're sad about that, you know, they're not giving to it because they put you on a pedestal. Underneath that, just for fun, is the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. They, the, what they feel is that they missed out on Ten Pentacles with you. They left themselves out in the cold on Ten Pentacles with you. And I swear to God, you go watch the Libra reading and watch the pre-shuffle, you'll understand why I'm telling you to go watch that reading. It'll help you. It's like two readings in one. It's like a Lib Scorp, right? Lib Scorp. That's, that's the, uh, the two angles that are welded together right here in this fly-through. All right, let's go. Let's pull a reading. And this is a different deck. I didn't touch the witches in that reading. This is the witches. All right, here we go. Hot Scorpios. Let's find out. I suspect it's a little different. Well, I don't know. I don't know that it is different, actually, in your case. I don't know. This might be just the same reading from another deck, for all I fucking know. This first card out is before the cut. That's why the fuck are we here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio for January 2023, universe. Let's go. Let's talk to the hot Scorpios here. Let's do it. Uh, yep. Why we're here. You, it, 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 this is all about you. See, why in the Libra reading, we were here because somebody left themselves out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles kind of energy. No, no. We're here for the Scorpio reading because somebody's put you on a pedestal, but the universe is saying you deserve to be on it. You're fucking hot. Right? This this person, the Nine of Pentacles, is fucking hot. Everybody wants to hit that shit. Okay? Somebody here has a real self-worth issue, and it's not you. All right? Uh, again, I always tell you that, and I'm not going to repeat myself. It's, we're here. The reason we're here is nine pentacles. Because somebody's put you on a pedestal. But do you, I think you deserve to be there. Yeah. They feel small next to you in Page of Cups. Page of Cups, they feel tiny. A little tiny. Big love, little tiny. And again, don't tell me. Don't tell me you don't have a runner right now or they're gone or whatever. This can be future influence for you. This is going to happen to you. Your energy is growing. You're becoming a better person. You're growing into full Empress energy. You're reflecting as the Nine of Pentacles in this reading alone, which is a Minor Arcana Empress. In the Libra reading, you reflect as the Empress. Uh, spoiler alert. So, again, uh, you're growing. This is going to happen to you again and again and again. People are going to be intimidated by you. Intimidated to bang you. Alright? It, it is what it is. It's kind of flattering in its own way. They feel small next to you. They got a little tiny willy. Right? Okay. And again, I always tell you, maybe they lied to you and told you it was bigger. I don't know. And then when the opportunity comes to show it to you, they run. I have no idea. But the point is, we're here because somebody's put you on a pedestal. And, then we, and the cut card should back up the pre-shuffle, and they just fucking did. All right, let's go. Give me a reading here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio. Let's do it. January 2023. All right, let's go. I think there's going to be some... I, I'll give you another spoiler alert. I think there's some change coming in this energy. All right. Maybe a little competition. I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Why are we here? Mm. 
Seven of Pentacles. Seems like a quiet card. Seems like a man on a break, doesn't it? He's kind of on a break. It's the overall energy of the reading. It's not why we're here. Why we're here was the Nine of Pentacles. But uh, the overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table is the Seven of Pentacles. Seems like quiet, right? It seems like a bit of a break. Yeah, a little bit. What's underneath that? The Two of Swords. There is competition coming. All right, wait for it. It's a wait for it energy. Doesn't he look like he's waiting for it? Wait for it, right? There's competition coming. These are two Ace of Swords here. Uh, again, you're about to be you're about to become real popular. You might also want to watch the Gemini reading. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you straight up. Uh, you can re watch it or not. Uh, I'm not an astrologer. I, these signs don't mean anything. Okay. I, 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 the universe, I'm an energy reader. I'm not pulling on a sign. Signs are man-made. We invented them. You know, we, did, we, we didn't create the universe, all right? But it, 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 there is an energy, and we do separate it this way to, to pull on the soulmate cycle. It's a way to separate it. I would prefer to use numbers than signs, quite frankly. But I think it would just confuse people because everyone on YouTube is accustomed to signs. Uh, so it doesn't matter if it's in your chart. If the guy who did the reading tells you you should watch a reading, you should watch the fucking reading, whether it's me or any other person on YouTube, all right? All right, here's the energy around your connection. Right here is how your person's behaving in the 3D. Right here is the soul. Right here is the hidden energy, message from the universe, read with the energy of your connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards over the top. What is the energy around your connection right now? King of Cups. Water's closing in here. Uh, there's a lot of love here that's been unexpressed. This is uh, a little bit of words left unsaid energy, but it's more than that. It's someone who's getting eaten alive by the things that they didn't do, the things they didn't say, feeling a little bit of ashamed for, uh, of themselves, as I showed you in the opening card to this reading in the pre-shuffle. Okay? Uh, 3D. How are they behaving in the 3D? The sun. Behaving like everything's fine, behaving like normal. However, they are, the energy around them is enlightening them to this energy. I see it here, a little bit of contemplation. The sun tends to illuminate things. But as far as how they're behaving, they're behaving like everything's fine. Mm -hmm. God, this sounds eerily similar. Completely different cards, completely different energy, but it's playing out similar to a reading I did earlier from a different, well, may, may have even been this deck, but these are different cards. Soul position, book ending the king, the magician. It's a little bit of, uh, someone's trick. It, it, when the magician falls here in this context, especially read off the king of uh, cups, somebody is um, fooling themselves a little bit. Uh, sort of, it's not pretending to be something they're not. It's more of a, uh, a Jedi mind trick kind of a thing you know on themselves so in other words they there this is why the sun is here in the middle and how they're behaving in the 3d and the base energy the sun is here everything seems fine on the outside because they put up some kind of illusion if you will it's not even really a lie it's not it's not a deception it's more again it's best described as a jedi mind trick these are not the droids you're looking for these are not the droids we're looking for right like that kind of thing it's weird it's very weird. It's an energy of transformation. It does indicate it's not something that can hold very long. It's like a spell, right? A weak spell. Um, so this does indicate, because this is transformative energy, that they are changing in the soul. The sun is doing something here. It's illuminating something. Because it has to, energy flow, primary flow is 5D to 3D. So it has to come from here first, and then it goes here. So that said, it's very interesting. They're finding out some things. We'll see what happens when we clarify. We may see some changes here. I suspect those changes occur because of another energy coming towards you. Okay? Um, what's the universe want to tell us about the King of Cups? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah, the page pa fell on the floor that way. The universe wanted it flipped. Fine, I'll flip it. Page of Wands reversed. Um, all of this keeping this bottled up inside is causing nothing to happen. It's causing someone to just be afraid of everything. This is usually in the upright. This is my adventure boy, right? He's, he's on. He's, he's exploring, curious about what's around the next corner. It's a card of communication. But on the flip here, when read with this King of Cups energy, 
this person's afraid of everything. They're afraid of their own shadow. So that's kind of why this energy here can also be, um, again, the same frequency of energy plays out differently in different situations. This is the kind of energy I would get with somebody who has an imaginary friend as a coping mechanism, right? They have a little imaginary friend they talk to. I think this person might on some level. I mean, I'm not saying that they do, uh, again, but you wouldn't know. It's not something you know about. No one's going to admit that to you, you know. Hell, I, you know, there's two sides to all of our energies. Uh, imagine, I mean, we're actually never alone. There's two of us. There's two sides to every coin. There's two sides to our, to our core energy. So actually, imaginary friends are real. They're actually a real side of you that's talking to you. So they can be quite good. Uh, actually, they're a lot of they're a coping mechanism for a lot of people who are in like prison for a long time, you know, solitary confinement or something like that. You can be just fine, you know, uh, if you if you know how to work that energy. Um, right here, potential final outcome: red with the sun. Mm, I, I'm a hit with all the prison viewers, so I like to slip it in every once in a while. I know you're out there. All right, right here, <laughs> right here is uh, karma. It's the, they're all hoping I go in so I can pull cards for them. <laughs> That's what they're hoping. I'd probably be pretty protected, I would imagine. You'd probably want me around. Uh, the uh, judgment card, red with the sun. Um, again, what, 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 what they're probably going to realize, the illumination, the illuminating factor here is going to, they're going to realize that they do want to talk to you. They want a second chance. They want to try again. I don't know whether they'll have with the Page of Wands reverse the guts to take it, though. I don't know. Um, however, you do have soulmates coming towards you. You have something else coming in here. There's an energy from the past that's returning. That's And what the universe is saying with the Page of Wands reversed here is it's not necessarily this runner. It's someone new. And an energy from the past doesn't mean the past here. It means a past life. It means a soulmate. Okay, when it's especially when it's around the judgment card, which is you know karma here in this deck, right here. Let's clarify with the little animal deck. Let's, let's clarify the uh, King of Cups. Let's do it. Why is the King of Cups here? Let's see. That's my theme song. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Um. I don't want to just generically call it Fakey McFakerman. There's an energy when the King of Cups and Queen of Wands blend here in the energy of your connection. It talks about somebody who, again, because they've never really done anything here, never really told you how they felt, they're about to, if they don't think they've missed an opportunity, they're about to. Uh, the Queen of Wands misses out on a lot of things because they're very concerned with superficial things and image and things like that. And when we're concerned about that, we miss out on a lot of the magic of life. We really do. You know, even if it's somebody who's incredibly vain or something like that. Those people are always shit in bed. They're terrible because they're worried about how their hair looks. They don't want to mess up their hair. The magic is messing up the hair, asshole. You know, have some fun. Loosen up. It's like that. Uh, it's, it's a bit like that kind of energy. What's on top? Ten of Pentacles. Wow. The energy, uh, your soulmate energy is super fucking strong. You're super attractive. Uh, your long-term potential, people see you as super attractive. Long-term potential. And <laughs> uh, it's funny. You scare the crap out of them. It's the Eight of Cups. I laugh because I call you Hot Scorpio. I say, you're, I just got done telling you, you're going to have a lot of people. A lot of people in the future, this, this could be future influence for you. This is going to be happening because your vibration's going up. Uh, you, you're continually moving toward high vibrational people, continually move toward their nine cups, right? Only looking for the real deal, Ten of Pentacles. So it scares off a lot of low vibration energies. And this person, your, your initial runner here, is fairly low vibration. They're getting scared off by it. Fuck them. Just keep raising your vibration. Don't lower your vibration for anybody. Keep your frequency high. Why is the sun here? Mm, let's talk about the sun. It's a nice card. This is how they're behaving in the 3D. Like everything's fine, right? Everything's fine. I hope he got sunscreen on or everything won't be fine. That ozone layer is not as thick as it used to be. Mm, tell you what. <laughs> uh, here we go. 
That's my theme song. The Fool. Um, I don't see... I, I, I actually see your energy moving on a new journey. Okay? I do. I almost want to direct you to watch the Leo reading too for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's these cards and the way they're falling. But... I think your... I think this is sort of a flip-flop energy because of the judgment card has a lot to do with you. I think the universe wants to talk about you now. There's nothing else to say about this person after the Page of Wands reversed. But for you, I think you're about to start a new journey here and it's going to be something very different for you. And again, that ties to the Gemini reading quite a bit, I believe. Yeah, this is the Eight of Pentacles. There's an opportunity for growth coming your way. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Five of Pentacles. Oh. Are you fucking serious? Okay, well, the five... <laughs> Sorry. The Five of Pentacles is about loss. It's about loss that we cause ourselves. Um, you're required... You're required to take... Your, the, the lesson you can learn from this runner is they never took a leap of faith. You're going to be required to take a leap of faith very soon that's going to pay off well for you. Don't dismiss it. Okay? Give everything, every opportunity, every new person, whatever it is that comes your way, be sure and give it a close look, a good talking to, a good, a good feeling on. Try to get a bead on it before you dismiss it. Okay? That's a message from the universe for you. That's kind of what it's saying here. As far as your runner goes, this guy over here, the reversed page of wands, um, they left themselves out in the cold because they never did anything. They never put in any work. Why is the magician here? Let's talk about this. This is going to be back to their soul energy. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Why is the magician here? Tell me about the magician. This is a crazy reading. I love it. I love readings that jump all over around like this. It's messages for you. It's messages about this runner. I don't even think the universe wants to talk about this runner, to be honest with you. And I'm not quite convinced my viewers even want to hear about it. Uh, magician crossed by the uh, Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody here is just... You know, again, they're trying to mask how they feel. Sad horse, five of cups is regret, sadness, all that kind of stuff. Cups do belong in the soul. They let themselves down and they're just kind of pretending that, that they didn't. You know, it's the easiest way to put it. It's a spell that's going to wear off, though. It's, it's a very weak energy. What's on top? You know, the fool. Mm -hmm. Why is the fool here? Before I open my mouth, two of wands. Yeah, um... When the spell wears off, they might come towards you. They might at least be in a position to set the intention to come towards you. I mean, there's no other way to put it. The Two of Wands, they're always in the planning stage. Like I talked about in the overview reading for the month, right? Always planning, never doing. This Two of Wands is directly bookending this Eight of Cups. So again, you're always walking. This Eight of Cups is about you. You're always walking toward that Nine of Cups. I don't think this person's going to be going to get their shit together in time to catch up to you. So, I think this new energy that's coming in is going to be very important uh, to you. And I think it's, it's life-changing. And I think you might, you might initially reject it, which is why the message came out the way it did up here. Let's talk about this Page of Wands reversed. Let's talk about this real quick. All right. Let's see why this is here. It's a very interesting energy. I don't often get that card reversed. All right. It's very weird. Okay. Page of Wands reversed. Two of Swords. We keep getting two swords all over. We've gotten that before in this reading. Um, where, where have I seen that? Oh, yeah. There it is. Two swords. Yeah. Don't worry about this person. You got other option coming. You're fine. There's, again, just, you're fine. It's all it's saying. Two, two ace of swords. There's two soulmates. One that is a page of wands reversed and another one that's just about to show up. Okay. That's that's all I'm gonna tell you. What's on top? Ace of Wands. Yeah, you got a. This this is a, a bit of like a, a match in the wind, right? You it can flare up and then it can go out. You've got the Ace of Wands here, red with the Ten of Pentacles. So you know you've got this soulmate here, this Page of Wands reversed. That's afraid to come talk to you for whatever reason, intimidated by you, put you on a pedestal, whatever we talked about in the pre-shuffle, pretending that they're all right. Um, again, if it's not the real Ten of Pentacles, you're not after it anyway. So it's no big loss. 
uh, there is a potential here for a real Ace of Wands. Why is the uh, Ace of Wands here? Yeah, slowly but surely. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles. This energy requires some work to keep it burning. Okay? A little bit. To keep it burning hot. Um, this is a reliable energy here. It's red with the Eight of Cups. Uh, it's even kind of a color match for it too if you look at it. Although the opposites are in play. In other words, the black's on the top, the white's on the bottom, the black's on the bottom, the whiter is on the top. Um, just keep moving towards your nine cups. If it, It's what the universe is saying. It's, it's basically just trying to tell you, don't worry about this. Focus on this. And that now we're going to pull on this. This is judgment. There's a lot of... I'm, I may pull a few extra cards here. Okay? It's red with the sun. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. And this is about a soulmate that's coming your way. This other one, they may be stuck for a little while. They put you on some kind of pedestal. Even if you talk to this person, they still may not open up. But this new thing here, and like I said, in 2023, new soulmates are going to start popping into these readings for a lot of you. I know they are. They're going to start showing up in the all signs readings too, I bet. Probably not right away. Probably as the month gets going and the year gets going. But for you... It's because you're so damn hot. All right. Judgment. Why is it here? Mm hmm. The magician. That ties us back to this right here. Um, something here is about to transform. This is alchemy energy. It's lead into gold. All right. I don't know what. And, but the magician is sort of the beginning of the journey, if you will. It's, it's the first stop that the fool makes. Right? It's the number one card in the major arcana. Um. I'm not sure why it's giving you that. It has something to do with the tools. Of course, it has something to do with that. But let's see. Yeah, the Four of Cups. That's very interesting here. Uh, before I open my mouth, why is that here? This reading is tough. Seven of Swords. Rejection was a deception. Okay? Um, this energy coming towards you, you may, either in this lifetime or a past lifetime, I, you may know it in this lifetime. This might be somebody you once broke up with. This could be an ex-husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend coming back. Somebody you haven't seen in a long time. Um, it's it's it just it forms a reconciliation energy here like that. Um, this time it might work. Okay, the magic is there this time with this person. Now, if it's not someone from this lifetime, it's someone from a past lifetime, but you more than likely got rejected by them. Okay? So they're coming to redeem themselves, if you will. A little karmic debt being collected. Okay? Just a little bit. Mm, I said I'd pull a few extra cards, and I'm going to. Uh, where's the Lightseer? Let me grab the Lightseer deck. What else you want to tell me about this Judgment, Four of Cups, and Seven of Swords energy? You had one of the trickier readings. I was not expecting it. I thought yours would be a cakewalk. Mm, very interesting. Tell me about the Four of Cups, Seven of Swords combo. Tell me about this energy. Give me whatever you want. Tell me about it. Tell me a fucking about it. Tell me a fucking about it. It's Nine Cups is the bottom card. Nine fucking cups. Underneath that, Ten Pentacles. Jesus Christ. What's on top? Five Pentacles. Again, I, this is somebody that you were once with that left you like that, either from this life or a past life. For most of you, it's this life. Okay? For most of you, it is. But not all of you. What else? Uh, it's, a divine, it's a truly balanced divine masculine. It truly is. Wow. Justice is here. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. Um, not much else to tell. It all pretty much says the same thing. Seven of Wands and the King of Swords. It's a very... Mm, we don't... It's just... It's nice. It's a good energy. There's some time here. There's an energy approaching you that... It could be an ex from the past that you used to know. Whatever it is. It, the, the breakup, the rejection was false. It's not this runner. It's a different energy. It can lead to nine cups because the energy's right for it. Remember, the whole thing is crossed by the magician here. Uh, there's ten pentacle potential here. Uh, and that's what you're looking for. It's exactly what you're looking for. This is exactly the droid you're looking for. Okay? I'll Jedi mind trick you. 
Um, you might be inclined to leave yourself out in the cold on it. I got double, I, this Five of Pentacles directly ties to this Five of Pentacles, where the warning was, be sure, before you dismiss them, the energy is different now than when you were together before. Now, whether that was this lifetime and you remember it, or the past life, you're still going to, even if it was the past life, you're still going to pick up on that energy of the breakup, of the divorce, of the whatever, okay? Uh, again, it is a divine masculine energy, and it does bring with it a lot of happiness. There is some sort of karmic debt here that's being called in and being paid on both sides. You have a little bit of karmic debt with this energy that you never paid. And one of the laws of the universe, whether you talk to me, you talk to Deepak Chopra, you talk to the, the Dalai fucking Lama, I don't care. All karmic debts are paid. They're all paid. They all get collected on, either in this life or the next life. You know, we all come in. Very few people come into a new lifetime debt-free completely, right? There's always somebody. So, that's your reading. It's pretty cool. So, be cool. Don't worry about this fool who's, who's over here putting you on pedestals and pretending, you know, they're just too scared to come. If somebody's too scared to come towards you, you don't want them anyway. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right? I... I I would pull three cards from the bottom, but there's nothing else to tell you. I pulled extra cards here. All right, I think this is more important. So, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. I'll keep an eye on this for you. I will. And if I think you need an energy update, I'll give you one. All right, good luck.